Hey, Flimsy Lynch Trey here, and welcome to World of Warships. Uh, as it's Friday night, and I'm going to go ahead and release uh, the Black Friday 2023 video, which you're watching now. Uh, I've already done a video earlier for today and released it, but heck, you're going to get two today for the price of one. So, what do we have for you today? Well, every year, the last several years, I have gone uh, done a good overview, I think, uh, on the Black Friday events here. So Wargaming has added some additional things this year uh, in comparison to previous years. Um, so we're just going to dive right into it. Uh, first off, I want to talk about, uh, this video is timely, but you have the Black Friday event, which is up till, I think, November 24th. Let's actually see a date here, but it should be up till November 24th. They released the Black Friday event, I think a bit earlier this year than they have in previous years. I think previous years it's like ended uh, it's like after the first week of December. Uh, so note that it's not as longer period this time. I think I'll just throw on the bottom uh, here uh, when this ends. So you'll have several weeks essentially if you want to pick up anything from the Black Friday 2023 event. So you have the standard armory event, which is the screen we're looking at, and I'll talk more on it here in just a minute. But I do need to briefly mention uh, this year they've done something new. I'm going to mute this because it's incredibly loud. Being the Black Friday auction uh, for Smolensk. Um, for or regular Smolensk and Smolensk B, in addition to the Smolensk flag or the Smolensk B flag. Okay, uh, So they haven't had a Black Friday auction in the past, but... Uh, Wargaming being Wargaming, they're always finding new ways to monetize the game. Um, so they've paired it, uh, their normal actions with Black Friday Auction. As this video goes up, you have a day in 19 hours uh, to build a bid. Probably be like a day 18, 17 hours by the time this video goes up. So um, this, uh, in regards to this event, it's a total of four days um, when they, uh, when the, so the bidding ends. And they'll make announcements both in the game and on the website uh, of the winner. So basically, if you're wondering how the Black Friday auction works, it's a single price auction rules. Bids are placed in the armory, and so you put your bid in. The highest bid and earliest bids win. So identical bundles are compiled into lots of the auction. The number of the auction bundles is limited for each lot. The higher your bid and the earlier it is placed, the higher your chances of obtaining the item. So if you wait till the last minute, there's a possibility that even if you put a higher bid in, um, maybe you don't win because it wasn't as early. So it's kind of a time pressure, time sensitive with this. You can change your bid until the summing up of the result starts. The bid placement time will also change. So do keep that in mind. If you increase the amount, uh, your bid placement will also be um, affected. Single price auction. Once the auction results have been summed up, the highest bids win. In the case of equal bids, the bid that was placed earliest wins. Uh, so if someone puts the same amount as you and they reach the maximum number of how many people can uh, achieve the auction because they cap it, uh, then you just won't get it uh, as an example if you put your bid in later. However, all winners will only pay as much as the lowest winning bid for the selected lot. Any access will be returned to their accounts. Each winner obtains one bundle. So let's say you put on, uh, well, uh, yeah, let's say you put on a bit of... 40,000 doubloons, right? And the winning bid was 37,000 doubloons, then you'd get 4,000 doubloons, or yeah, uh, <laughs> 3,000 doubloons back. Math, flimsy, math. No losses. If your bid does not win, do not worry. It will be automatically returned to you after the auction uh, ends. So, um, Smolensk, overpowered boat in the game, difficult to citadel. Um, yeah, a lot of overpins that you get. Makes your ship pretty strong. Uh, She's pretty fearsome. Uh, ship, high rate of fire, um, has good speed, fantastic main battery, 16 guns uh, in total. Uh, has smoke, uh, has hydroacoustic search, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually not seeing it uh, listed here, and I don't think I can actually see it uh, more in port. Yeah, it just takes me back into here. So I'm pretty sure it has hydroacoustic search, if I'm not mistaken. Then you've got some Linsk B. So they're giving you two options. So you can see the number of winners there, right? And you get a commander with 11 skill uh, points and a port slot. Uh, so only max of 1,000 winners on each one. So minimum bid, 35,000 doubloons here. It's 350,000 coal. So imagine you're going to see a lot of coal thrown at this. Um, maybe 
500, 600, 700 thousands winning bid. I don't know. I haven't paid attention too closely to these auctions. And of course, you can get a uh, Simonsk flags as well, whether you bid Steel or Elite Commander XP, and that there's 700 winners for each of those. But going back into this, this is probably what you're most focused on, so I'm going to hop right into it. Uh, I'll have these videos timestamped. Uh, the video will be timestamped below if you want to hop to different things. So this is something that Wargaming has done the last few years uh, in terms of being sequential bundles where you will obtain a ship by the end of this ship bundle process. Um, I'm not going to go in depth on this, but I'll just kind of give you an overview. So essentially what happens is as you go up, um, you have uh, increased cost, right? So it starts off 199 doubloons. And then at some point you're going to hit 299, right? Uh, this th year they've done something for, uh, I don't know if they had this last year, but you can get actually a, a for free bundle item. Uh, so it means you have 16 rather than uh, 15 bundles. Keep going. It's going to be increasing in cost uh, as you go up the chain naturally, uh, all the way up until you get to your uh, Repulse B. Um, this is a fantastic tier 6 battleship. Uh, it's available in the armory now. If you have access to the 25% coupon, I think it's 5,100 doubloons versus 6,800 doubloons. Um, I do recommend picking up this ship. Uh, it is good. Now, in terms of the cost, uh, if you get, were to purchase all bundles, it's 8,385 doubloons. Um, now, last year, you had Shinonomi B. It was 8,593 doubloons. And the year before that, you had the Dunkirk B. That was 5,187 doubloons. So that one was a much cheaper sequential bundle process to go up. Uh, so it's been higher, I guess, if you're comparing it to the 2021 Black Friday event were 2022 and 2023 this year, uh, a little more higher and being over 8,000 doubloons. But it went back down lightly this year from 8,953 doubloons to 8,385 doubloons. Um, so she's a fantastic ship. Um, and you're getting a lot more rewards, right? So if you can only afford Repulse Standard for 6,800 doubloons or 5,100 doubloons, uh, you are getting a lot of things uh, in the meantime, right? So uh, something I do need to make mention is that there's two types of Black Friday containers every year. You have a standard Black Friday container, which is the one you're looking at here. Of course, you have chances to pick up the uh, 24 ships in total, uh, but you only have a 0.4% chance uh, of pulling uh, a ship uh, from uh, this list, or you simply pull one of the following items from the list. You see the breakdown here. It's not as good as compared to, as an example, a premium Black Friday container. So do pay attention to uh, the verbiage here, uh, right? So this is Black Friday 2023 container, just a container. We're here, it will tell you premium container, and your chance for pulling a ship goes up by 12%. Uh, well almost 12%, 11.6%, whatever. Uh, so much better container. Uh, and you can see you're getting actual uh, really good uh, expendable bonuses and higher rewards in the form of credits, free XP, and elite commander XP. Um, the other thing to make note is the difference in terms of a special uh, ship drop. Uh, so the drop for this is a guaranteed drop uh, from the um, a premium ship group is the 625th container, where in comparison to the premium container, it's 20. <laughs> okay, so there's a massive difference there. Uh, so all in all, of course, these premium containers are much better to pull from, and I'll talk a little bit more uh, about them uh, as we back out. One thing I did wanna check on here uh, with Repulse is if you already own uh, Repulse, not Repulse B, like let's say you go through this bundle, you pick up Repulse B, you'll have access uh, to a combat mission uh, in which if you earn 4,000 base XP uh, up until I think it's the end of 2023, yeah, you'll get 1,500 doubloons credited to you. So if you already own Repulse, you can kind of think of this event being a little bit cheaper if you really wanted to go for Repulse B in that example. If that helps you mentally, if you're really interested in going up this, uh, oftentimes, uh, I really like going for the coal, <laughs> 10,000 coal, right? So um, Wargaming does monetize coal here in World of Warships, uh, this time just in the form of a container, uh, and then here uh, in a bundle. So I think what to get to this point, it's gonna cost you 1,594 doubloons. So 
not too bad and you get to pick up some uh, additional items along the way. All right, moving on. Okay, just have to click here. Uh, you have uh, groupings of the Black Friday containers. So what they've done here is you can either buy one, five, 10, or 25. Um, so a one, if you buy one alone, it's gonna cost you 1,250 doubloons, or you could pick up for five, 5,600 doubloons, and uh, that saves you 10%. You pick up 10, it's going to be savings of negative 15%, so 10,600 doubloons. Or you can pick up 25 for 24,950 doubloons versus 31,250 doubloons being a 20% savings. Now, keep in mind, if you did go for this bundle, you are guaranteed at least to pick up one ship because the guaranteed drop is 20. This is a bundle of 25 uh, containers. Um, or if you, maybe let's say you don't really want to spend 25,000 doubloons, you could pick up two bundles of 10 uh, for, let's see, that'd be 10, 20, uh, 21,200 doubloons. Um, so, I mean, not that big of a difference. You get, you'd get you get five additional containers, but you would definitely uh, have a guaranteed ship drop, okay? Uh, so, now keep in mind, uh, with these Black Friday containers, you will have people posting in Reddit, their discords, like, oh my gosh, I got like three or four ships uh, from this bundle of 25 I got, okay? And then you only might only get one. Okay, so it's kind of playing off, you know, people who get a lot of ships are the ones who are more likely to post in the Discord, po and I would say forums, but Wargaming obliterated those, you don't have those anymore. Uh, a Discord server or on Reddit, Facebook, whatever. Uh, so don't get caught up in that. I would just encourage you uh, because you might be disappointed where maybe your friend got four ships, three or four ships, and you only pull one ship. Okay, it can happen. You are guaranteed one if you picked up 25 or at least 20 containers. Um, so just be mindful not to get caught up in that. Think about it uh, a little bit. Uh, you know, this event, as I said, it's gonna go for a while. So uh, you can sit, think, no need to rush uh, verse on this versus the Black Friday auction. So the new ships this year, besides uh, Repulse uh, B, uh, you have four ships. You have the Iwami B, uh, you have the Black, Black, <laughs> Brandenburg Black and Lazo Black. Okay, so just a brief overview uh, on each of these ships. Um, Iwami is a rather uh, interesting tier 9 Japanese uh, premium battleship. I don't own her, but she's got 410 millimeter guns. Uh, 10 in, or sorry, excuse me, <clears throat> 8 in total. Um, and one of the, her fun uh, things that catches players off guard uh, is her 610 millimeter torpedoes, uh, which you can see are just mounted right back here. Uh, she's got four uh, on each side. 20 kilometer torpedoes. Uh, detectability range is super high, 2.5 kilometer. They're pretty slow at 62 knots, but they have a maximum damage of 20,967 uh, and over an, uh, more than two minute reload time. You can see it's like two and a half minutes. Uh, so these I mean, yeah, you can spam them, <laughs> like kind of like a Yoshino Torp as an example, since they have the 20-kilometer range. Um, but uh, maybe you hang on to them, uh, and that it's more of a, if you find yourself in a brawling situation and you need to get your torpedoes off. So just note that they are here on the stern of your ship. Uh, so if you're kiting away, you are kind of sac might be sacrificing uh, the torpedoes. And I imagine that your torpedo firing uh, arc, because I don't own this ship, is because you can't fire right into that. It's probably uh, very much more like kind of like this uh, and out uh, towards the rear of the ship. Uh, other thing is she's pretty resilient against uh, high explosive uh, spam. You know, she doesn't have a massive superstructure. Uh, so her deck plating uh, is, oops, wrong one, a uh, bit better, right? So 50 millimeter and 32 millimeter on the front. Uh, so that's gonna help you out. I have seen some players uh, invest in secondaries with this ship. Uh, seven kilometer, uh, three second uh, reload time on the 100 millimeter, uh, 12 second reload time on the 155 millimeter. Um, so I don't know if I'd necessarily recommend that. There's better tier nine battleships in the game that do a better job brawling. Going over to black, black. <laughs> this is probably your best ship uh, option to pick up uh, of the four new ones, uh, the tier nine American destroyer Black here, uh, she is among the better tier nine destroyers here in World of Warships. 
that she's a Fletcher class destroyer, but mainly due to her radar. Uh, she gets smoke and radar uh, with uh, these 127 millimeter guns. Um, so her 7.5 kilometer radar works out really well if you're playing ranked randoms, uh, contesting a cap, you can bully them out. Uh, and you get to utilize uh, your smoke too, right? The good old American smoke screen, long uh, duration, long action time, uh, but a long reload time, long cooldown time. Uh, in addition to the fact that you do, of course, get torpedoes, uh, you get 10 torpedoes, uh, 96 second reload time with no nothing built in, uh, torpedo range, kind of funny, it's 13.7 versus being like 13.5 or 14. Uh, maximum damage, pretty hefty, 21,600, but the speed is so slow, 43 knots. These are among the, uh, some of the most slowest torpedoes here in World of Warships. So um, you right, you can outrun these in actually uh, a good number of other ships, like you know Marceau, Clobert jumps to my head. <laughs> so pretty funny uh, when you're looking at that. Tech, tech, detectability range, 0 0.9. So because of that 0 0.9 common detectability range and torpedo speed of 43 knots, they have a pretty good high reaction time too versus most other destroyers in the game. Uh, so do keep that in mind, but the they hit hard, they have really good range, especially for a tier nine uh, destroyer. Guns reload 3.3 seconds uh, and you get uh, should get, is it four or five? Yeah, five in total. Uh, so yeah, probably the winner of the four. Uh, you have Brandenburg Black. Uh, I recently actually got Brandenburg I don't remember how, now off the top of my head. I think, oh, I pulled it from a super container. Um, and I've quite liked the ship. Uh, now she's a tier eight German battleship. She's a secondary battleship. She's got 305 millimeter guns, uh, 12 in total. Uh, so she's um, kind of like a battle cruiser. She does really good against enemy cruisers. Uh, with, again, we can get enemy battleships and uh, maybe a harder time uh, with getting good penetration with the armor piercing. Um, but all in all, uh, she's fun. She's got good speed. Uh, the secondaries here, you can see 7.6 before you build into them. Uh, she's got torpedoes, right? Uh, very helpful. Uh, six kilometer range, uh, 13,700 damage, 64 knot speed. Uh, detectability range, 1.3 kilometers. Um, and a minute and a half reload time. So if you were brawling, you're running in, then you utilize them, right? Uh, so pretty nice there overall. Uh, okay, concealment, uh, armor layout, not too bad. Um, you have 350, then to the 145, so on and so forth. So you can kind of see an overview of the key features of the ship. In terms of her consumables, I should have said this for black as well, but repair party, a spotter plane that can be swapped out for a fighter. Uh, so let me just go back over here because you can either go between the radar or engine boost or defensive AA, but you're pretty much going to be running the radar. If you're not running radar on black, why do you, why do you own black? In WAMI, it's less, it's just a repair party, damage control party. Last but not least is the tier seven Russian cruiser, the Lazo Black. Um, she uh, is kind of a bit more of a kiting cruiser. She's got 12 guns in total, 12 152 millimeter guns. She's got three turrets on, or two turrets on the front, two on the back. Um, yeah, more of a kite, kiting cruiser per se. She does have torpedoes. Uh, they're only four kilometer, but they hit for almost 18,000. Uh, 74 second reload time. Uh, so pretty uh, nice there if you find yourself in a bit of a pickle. Uh, these torpedoes are located midsection of the ship, so you get three per side, so uh, are possible. Uh, is possible to get knocked out. There's a brief overview of the armor scheme there uh, for you as well. Now one of the things that makes uh, Lazo uh, unique uh, is that she gets high acoustic search or defensive A, but it's the rapid takeoff spotter, so it extends the main battery firing range but short action time and high reload speed. Okay, so that's actually uh, rather favorable for you. Then you have the Black Friday ships of old from 2022, 2021, 2020, uh, I think even 2019, if I'm trying to remember how long back uh, this event goes for. So you can actually say I have, uh, I own two uh, here. Now I actually do also un own Dunkirk B um, that was from a previous uh, sequential bundle event. Um, but you can really just YouTube search these videos. There's other content creators who've covered them in depth if you're in particular uh, interested in one ship in, uh, in particular. I will say by the top three uh, ships, I'm gonna recommend you pick up 
if you're looking to spend some money here, uh, is gonna actually be these three right here. So Massachusetts Black, Alaska Black, Jean Bar Black. The number one ship I'm gonna recommend you pick up is the Massachusetts. Uh, she's a tier eight uh, American uh, brawling battleship. I own the Massachusetts, uh, not Massachusetts B, but just Massachusetts. She's my most played ship uh, in randoms and ranked. Uh, she's phenomenal as a tier eight South Dakota South Dakota class battleship, same class as the Alabama. Uh, just Massachusetts focuses more on secondary. Uh, so you can build uh, her out to 11.3 kilometer secondary range. Uh, really good. She's got nine 406 millimeter guns with that standard uh, 30 second reload time. Um, now she's not as accurate as Alabama. Uh, I feel like her guns really only begin, begin to behave 13, 12 kilometers and under. Otherwise, uh, don't be surprised if you have a shotgun effect uh, when you're firing more at range, uh, which is 18.3, uh, unless you were to take spotter plane, but <laughs> it's kind of like, mm, spotter plane doesn't necessarily help you so much, just gets you beyond the range, doesn't improve the, the shotgun accuracy of the Massachusetts. Um, the other thing that makes her really uh, great is her armor scheme. Uh, very difficult, actually, to Citadel in Massachusetts. Uh, so Wargaming puts some magic pixie dust in her, uh, so it's uh, rather fun. <laughs> so she's pretty uh, friendly for new players. If you like, um, you're like, you newer to the game, uh, I would definitely recommend Massachusetts in that regard. The other thing that makes Massachusetts really good in terms of her consumables is her repair party. Uh, most battleships get an 80 second cooldown on a repair party. Massachusetts gets a 40 second cooldown time on a repair party. Uh, so she can take a lot of punishment. You can get, I think, max five uh, repair parties if you build into it. Uh, so Massachusetts uh, takes the cake, uh, I think, in terms of the best uh, of the old Black Friday ships to pick up. Um, next, I would say pick up Alaska. Uh, she's, I would say, number two. She's really close to Jean Bar B, so just to think of them kind of tied for two in second place, if you will. Uh, Alaska is a tier eight, a tier nine, uh, heavy cruiser, kind of more like a battle cruiser. She's got nine 305 millimeter guns, which are really good uh, accuracy and dispersion. She's a great ship in competitive uh, ranked randoms. Um, she works well with her hydroacoustic search five kilometer for ships, and I think it's either three or three point five for torpedoes. She has the American radar, ten kilometer radar, so it helps you play uh, really well around cap objectives. She's got good speed, um, decent maneuverability, I think, in my opinion. And her AA uh, is decent, 283. So it's actually, you'll do quite well against tier 8 CVs, tier 10s, and super CVs. Bit of a struggle there. Concealment's decent. I think you can get her down around 12 kilometers uh, concealment, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so all in all, she's a really fun cruiser to play. Um, she's pretty slender uh, in getting around. And you know you can even switch from that American AP to that high explosive. You have a 27% chance of causing fires as well. So sometimes I find myself uh, readily switching between that uh, armor piercing and high explosive uh, here on the Alaska. We'll go down here and look at your consumables. So you can switch between hydroacoustic search, defensive AA. I take hydroacoustic search. I run the radar. No sense running the fighter or spotter plane. You play to Alaska strength um, and repair party. Um, and you can see a bit here uh, some of the statistics uh, on the ship. Now you do take a longer fire extinguishing time. Uh, she's got that extended duration where other cruisers in the game, it's shortened. Um, so that's just kind of help uh, balancing the ship. Then I'd say Jean Bar B uh, would be my third recommendation pick. Uh, she is a fun battleship. I've seen a lot of players play her and uh, watch content creators. I think Flambass, it's I think Jean Barbie is his favorite ship. He does phenomenal in it. Um, what makes Jean Barbie unique is she's got 15 inch guns, uh, eight guns in total, just two turrets on the front here. It's kind of fun, the history uh, of Massachusetts and Jean Bar uh, actually uh, fought against each other in World War II in Operation Torch, but Jean Barbie was in port and only one of her turrets uh, was uh, functional, where they are still building the other turret um, in Massachusetts. Uh, took her out among several other things, but it's kind of easy to hit a ship that's sitting still, right? So uh, some fun history between uh, these two ships that did actually exist. As All three of the ships I'm telling you existed in real life. Alaska existed as well. 
uh, built more as an AA platform, cruiser killer. But here on Jean B, uh, she's pretty friendly, like Alaska, to play um, in Massachusetts. Really, you're only bow in a lot. You don't want to be kiting away because you notice there is no main battery turrets on the rear of the ship. Uh, you have players actually take secondary build uh, on their Jean Bar. Uh, she's got these uh, 100 millimeter and 152 millimeter. Uh, decent reload time you can see already eight kilometers so you can bump that up actually quite decently uh, if you build into secondary jean bar um, but if you do turn away uh just in an enemy ships outside your secondary range that's harassing you right you, you don't really have any capability fighting back unless you turn an angle uh showing some decent side uh and getting your eight uh guns off on the front so it makes jean bar uh really exciting too is your consumable setup uh, she's got the repair party, damage control party, of course, but she's got a main battery reload booster, so you can punish uh, cruisers, uh, destroyers, battleships, you know, cruiser uh, CVs, you catch them out broadside. Uh, so you have to respect uh, the Jean Bar. So we'll probably be seeing some more Jean Bars, uh, blacks, uh, over the course of the next month. Uh, so she is definitely a very good ship, uh, a strong threat. And then she gets the French engine boost. I think this is a 15%, I'll have to double check. Uh, so that makes her fun, uh, very mo uh, quick, quick uh, to get across the map, uh, but she does have a smaller health pool uh, than other tier 9 battleships. Now I do also need to make note, if you already own one of the, the standard versions of these ships, you do get access to a combat mission. Uh, if you earn 4000 base XP uh, playing Jean Bar, Jean Bar B in asymmetric random co-op and rank battles to obtain 2500 doubloons and 25,000 coal. Uh, as an example, uh, so a bit of an incentive for you as a player of Wargaming is trying to make it if you're your own Jean Bar, hey, pick up Jean Bar B and you can get uh, 2,500 doubloons back and 25,000 coal. Now, if we look at Alaska, Alaska actually used to be a free XP ship, uh, so that's how I picked her up, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you get 2,500 doubloons and 100,000 free XP. Uh, Where something like Massachusetts, uh, you will get just 2,500 doubloons because she's a tier 8 versus a tier 9. Uh, if you look at something like the Lazo, you're only going to... Uh, okay, again, 2,500 doubloons. I was looking at a ship earlier um, where you only... Yeah, Sims. Uh, you'll only get 1,500 doubloons back. So just pay attention to that. It's not straightforward. Each uh, ship, depending on the tier and the value, is going to get a different uh, value of combat mission. So do pay attention to that. Uh, but these three ships, I would definitely recommend. You know, Otago's uh, a good ship. Um, Asasho's a good ship. Uh, Kolsik, I, I have standard Kolsik, great ship. Kaga's a good ship. Lo Yang's a really good ship. Pomeran's a good ship. Kursarge is a good ship. Mainz is a good ship. Uh, this is a good ship. Napoli's a really good ship, right? Um, so I think I've covered everything that I've uh, wanted to cover uh, here in the video. Uh, so this brings it just before 30 minutes, thankfully. Uh, so if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. Let me know if you're going to be picking up any ships and uh, here in the event, or if you buy some bundles of the Black Friday containers, share below uh, what you get if you manage to pull a ship or not. So until next time, take care.